All right, welcome to Officer Oil. My name's Scott McAdoo. I'm a police community outreach officer for a local department in Maryland. And outside of police, I support my family as a certified AMS oil dealer. When I'm not fighting crime, I'm fighting friction. So I'm here with the Toro Recycler 22 inch, has the 7.25 horsepower uh, engine, foot, or 7 point foot time, or excuse me, 7.25 foot pounds of torque. 190 cc engine and it's a Briggs and Stratton. So I just did the Amsoil power foam, okay? Did the air induction, the carburetor cleaner. So we just did that. Great thing to do after you use the power foam in case there, any of it got into the oil is we want to do the, do the oil change. I should have done this in this fall. It's now spring, shame on me. And the reason why is because if you do it in the fall, the end of the off season, it sits in your garage or your shed all winter with good, clean oil to better protect from those from the rust and the corrosion that could potentially come up. But again, shame on me. I'm doing it now. I'm just getting it to getting to it. But I'm going to be using. I'm going to kind of cheat here a little bit. I'm going to be using two actually oil, two different oils, and the reason why is I don't have quite enough of my 530 left, and this one's already open as well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use them up. Not the best idea to mix viscosities like this, but I'm confident something like this, the old lawn mower, she's gonna be just fine, all right? So, I'll talk about these two oils, and I'll start with the, the 1030. So this oil is a 100% synthetic, dedicated, commercial grade, small engine oil. It's built from the ground up. It's a high zinc formula, and it's specifically built for these hot burning, you know, rough, you know, rough, beat the heck out of it, small engines, especially you get into the commercial grades, where you're talking the big zero turns, then these guys are running all day, all day. The heat is killer on these. So this is gonna resist breakdown. It's gonna better protect. It's gonna be able to last longer. This oil is so good that we will recommend it up to 200 hours, 200 hours. And that's even commercial grade. So running eight hours a day wide open, perfect from that. What we too often see is that many of our competitors, their motor oils or their small engine oils are nothing more than just rebranded automotive oils which that's a different application. A small engine is much, much different than a car or a truck. So this one's dedicated. I would not recommend putting this in a car or a truck because it's not gonna meet those later specs. This is gonna meet the, you know, the specs you're gonna want for the lawnmower, which are often a lot older, not held to a lot of those newer emission standards and things like that. So, so if you zoom in here a little bit, all right, so again, we're gonna preserve that power, fight all the heat and deposits, turn it on the back, should take a look at some of these specs. This thing does a lot. It'll work in gas engines. It even has a JSO MA and MA2 wet clutch spec. So you could use this in the dirt bike if you wanted to. And it also meets the diesel oil specs on a lot of these mowers as well. Okay, the CD and the CF. But this is the older bottle. The label, I just had this in the, I had this saved here. I'm just trying to use it up. The newer bottles say 200 hours right on the bottle, okay? But it is, same, it's, it is the still the same outstanding formula. So we have the 1030. We recently rolled out the 5W30, okay? Oh, actually here, so this, this has the newer label. So same outstanding formula, just slightly different viscosity. So right here, service life, look at that, up to 200 hours. 200 hours. So the 530 is going to work really well in the colder climates. Great for your snow blower. That 5 is going to flow a little faster cold than the 10. It's going to give me maximum fuel economy and maximum startup protection and that's when we're going to see most of our wear is at startup anyway. So but at operating temp they're both 30 weights. 30 is a 30 is a 30. So that's why I'm not too too worried about it about mixing these and especially here on the old uh, on the old lawnmower. So what you want to do is, I already have it nice and warm, get the engine nice and warmed up so that oil's nice and hot. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to come up here to my oil, to my oil uh, filler, oil fill port. I'm going to take that off. 
and then I'm just going to give this a little wipe because we're going to be turning this th this thing over. We're going to be turning this thing over and dumping the oil right out of it. I also recommend try to do this maybe when you're low on gas, don't have a full tank. This particular mower has a very poor design here with the gas cap, so it just it just doesn't give a good seal. I've been on some forums and they're telling me get a new gas tank. It's just a common issue. So I've just been dealing with it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, got this wiped down. It's nice and hot. Let me get my, let me get my drain pan here. All right. Let me pull this thing back and let's dump her on out. And over she goes. There she comes. Over a year old, all beat up. This was not, this did not have AMS oil in it. I know that for a fact. I'm pretty sure it just had just a regular whatever they could find on the shelf. Get it at a low cost. Um, just to be able to just to be able to say you change the oil so that is uh, pretty nice and dirty you can see that in there it's kind of a bad shadow but we're gonna let that drip out so we'll let that keep dripping for a little bit and get it all out and we're gonna get it filled up all right so I'm just giving it a little bit of help just because I'm becoming impatient just want to tip it over a little bit let it drip out a little faster but I did notice I was starting to lose a little fuel here. There you go, starting to drip. So just try to get out as much as you can. So I'll let it drip for just another minute. And get her uh, get her filled up. All right, down to just a random, random drip. So I'm pretty happy with it. So I'll get this thing flipped back over here. That flip back over get that out of the way I don't want to kick that here take a look at that look at that nastiness look at all the look at all you can see the wear metals and everything in there see how shiny that is pretty nasty pretty nasty I, I can say I tell you when I when I use this the oil comes out looking so clean and you can just tell even after beating it up here you can just tell what you're getting with the AMS oil advantage so all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use up my 530 first. All right, I really like this again, better cold flow performance, can maximize fuel economy. I've got about 12, about 14 ounces or so in that. And they help you out here, what I do here. So right here on the, right here on the dipstick. Oops, sorry, upside down, 20 ounces right there. So that's what I need. So I've got 14. 20 minus 14 is six. So I'm gonna empty this in and then get six out of the out of the other one. So let me get that poured in there. And there it goes. Liquid gold. Get that in. Should have grabbed my funnel. So I can let it sit here and drip out. So let that sit there and drip in there. But this robust formula, it's so good, and that's why it's so popular with our commercial landscapers, because downtime we know is killer. The labor cost, the better wear protection that you're gonna get with it, reduced labor, less downtime. The more we're out there cutting grass, the more we're making money with these mowers. So that's the advantage. Instead of changing at the normal 50 or 100 hours, we can go much, much longer. We have fleets that, using oil analysis, that we're pushing 300 hours with this oil. Very important, though, make sure you're running a good air cleaner program, keeping that air filter clean, and then on the bigger systems, highly recommend running the AMS Oil Synthetic Nanofiber Oil Filter to go with it to give you maximum extended interval there with it, okay? So let that, I'll try to get the last little bit out. Okay. 
So 14 ounces in. And now we need six here. So I'm right at 12, right at 12 ounces left. And these were just old bottles that I just wanted to use up that I've had. So I need half of that. And there we go, more liquid gold. Let me check. I think I nailed it. I think I nailed it right about halfway. So, let me put my cap back on. <clears throat> Wipe this off. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it real quick. Just around here, I got a lot of, a lot of dust and dirt and debris. Just hit it again with my parts cleaner great I love this it dries really really quickly it's a chlorinated formula should have done this earlier while we were letting it drip but hey we're all members of the wish I'd a club right wish I'd have done something different all right so just get in here with my rag get in here with my rag and just wipe that off. But it dries really, really fast as well. All right, so let me give it a quick wipe. A little wipe here. Put my dipstick back on. Okay, that's on. And now, Let's fire up. actually heard the engine when we turned it on go it once it started because it was all cold we took all the oil out got it up but I think I heard the engine go ah got that AMS oil in there so I'm just gonna let it sit here just for another minute and then I'll check the oil make sure we're good make sure we're between those lines on the dipstick and um, then should be ready to go to cut some grass okay so let it sit for a few minutes get my rag here Give it a quick wipe. So clean. So clean. All right, yeah, we're right, right in between. Right in between there. All right, nice and clean, nice and shiny oil. Liquid gold protecting. But that is it. Let me grab... Okay, so everything's all, we did the power foam, did the power foam, we've added the synthetic small engine oil, went it's kind of a mix, a little blend, again, not quite recommended, it's going to be perfectly fine for this lawnmower, alright, so the synthetic 530 and the synthetic 10W30 commercial grade small engine oil, we also have it in the 1040 as well, but again, a robust formula with heavy zinc, perfect to help reduce that heat, reduce the downtime, better protect, and what's that mean? L a reduced fleet maintenance cost. So if you are a homeowner like me, you've got a small, couple small engines, maybe a lawnmower, maybe a generator, maybe a power washer, this would be perfect for that. And if you'd like to start protecting your small fleet, I well, highly recommend joining our Amsoil Preferred Customer Program. As a preferred customer, you save 25% off of our retail price and are going to get free shipping right to your doorstep, anything over $100 or more. So no need to run around town looking for it. You can sit in the comforts of your home. It'll drop comfort from your home, comforts of your home. Have it order it, drop it right off at your doorstep. Super easy. If you have 
a fleet. Maybe you're one of those landscape fleets that we work with or that we've been talking about or one of those tree companies or um, you know anything like that then or even a municipality. Um, what I recommend is uh, becoming a, you can join our commercial program where you receive 30% off of our retail price or if you're an installer maybe you have a repair shop a parts store you can also start out at 30% off a of retail as well. So what I recommend, please follow the, please visit my website. It's officeroil.com. Again, officeroil.com. Please click on that or follow the link below. Please like the page. Please subscribe. If you get to the AMSOIL site or if you call up one of our call takers and they ask you, how did you hear about AMSOIL? Please give them my name. My name's Scott McAdoo, and that's M C A D O O, and my referral number. 1649274 1649274 by doing that it will support my family and you'll be working with me so thank you so much but i'm going to get and we're all protected i'm going to get out here and start cutting some grass when it starts growing got a little bit of time i'm a little ahead of the game should have done it in the fall shame of me wish ida but some amsoil synthetic small engine oil officer oil signing off thank you